And that was kind of funny. See what happens. I don't know, it's like the first game you had them, and then... Stop doing that. I would like, dude, I'd be all the way in the class, and you'd be in the middle, and then you'd back up with the fire, and you'd back up with the fire, and you'd Dude, it's like my body language is only telling you I'm not attacking you. Right? You're like, not looking at me at all. I'm not even close. Well, because it's me, and you just fall back. Yes, but if you're in the middle of the stage, and you're closing in on them, you could have attacked in such a grand way. Um, anyway, so Ouija's going in, I guess. Alright, nice fair. Um, some Ouija's like to nair, some don't. Uh, these are definitely nair Ouija's. Joss and Sago hit them with the nair. Oh, Misfire Boys. So, alright, they got stage control right now, but not really, because, no, they just got ledge guarded off of it. Sometimes you gotta be careful ledge guarding the low cares. You know, if you make the wrong move, yeah, you're basically dead. They're like, they're both dead. They both... That's bad. Uppies on the stage. Let's kill. Well, like, what I noticed while watching is, like, the first game, Andy and Ruben were very passive. They ran away from you guys most of the match. They tried to get in hits when they could, but I um, maybe they didn't notice that was working. But then they went aggressive, but I don't, I don't really know. Um, like, you think the people ran away from you. Because Peach was that, in the first game, Ruben was really floating, he wasn't really, you know, using his, he wasn't being aggressive, but then, you know, he's going in, and then he was just going to stand there and bounce me. In the second game, they just played aggressive. And maybe you guys play the same. I mean, because, you know, I'm playing way less than you, so uh, that's what I saw, at least. Yes, I know, experience just goes away. But, um, yeah. Hold on. Alright. So, I got a game two. I wasn't really... Alright, Aggie and Andy won, but it was like last stop, I'm pretty sure. So, oh, no tech. That's, that's a rip. Um, I don't really know which Luigi is which, but I'm gonna guess Josh is the white one. 
Actually, that seems more like Sago. Yeah, I'm gonna say Josh is not the wider one. Alright. So this is just standard low tier matchup. Um, all really Ruben has to do to be Lu Ruben just down smash alone is like the third best move in the game, in my opinion. And it's like the best move <laughs> against Luigi, one of the best. You know, he's wave dashing around, he just gets caught in a down smash. Even if you do only like one tick of the damage, he can't do anything. <laughs> like, and Fox can just shine Luigi, you know. Fox has to watch out about Nair priority, but other than that, if he, you know, if he reads Luigi's Nairs, or if he just keeps hitting them, there's nothing Luigi can do. Um, I mean, we saw this at Big House, where Bait was winning, but then Mango just foxed him, and, you know, they Quan cheeked him. Uh, you know, true. There's not a lot Luigi can do if top tiers play to their best ability. And Peach, you don't really have to be good at Peach. You can be, be Luigi. Yes, down smash. Uh, I've done it before. I've camped a Luigi on a legend down smash, and if he came close, I would back throw him and then try to get as far away as possible. And it was my first time playing Peach. And I beat the Luigi guy. So. But, I mean, it's not over. They can obviously still come back, but it's going to be hard. They just have to make sure they're, they have the aggression. Not to, like, if, if they hit them too far away, not to, like, follow up. Because then it could turn bad for them. Like now, he went for something so greedy. Uh, it worked somehow. I was about to call a dead Luigi. But now I look, I look like the big asshole, so I guess I'm fucking bad. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is over. Well, not if they kill kill each other. All right. Well, Ruben's so good. Did you just see that tricky moves that Ruben did? Yeah, Ruben's just gonna let him take it because Ruben, he probably feels like he'd be too nervous or something if he clutch it out. There's really no reason to take it. But if Saga wins this... Anyway. Is this winners or something? That's two games. Where's the bracket? Seven eight. Okay, that's the best of five, I guess. I didn't know Sammy's was the best of five. Oh, no, Josh, go back to Ouija. Like, Josh, I get that. You like Fox, but your Ouija is better, dude. Okay, so now I know who's who, because Marth is definitely Saga. Let's see though. I haven't seen Josh's Fox in a while, so maybe I can't talk too much about it. But. All right. So right now they've got the center of the stage. They're trying to control it. Um, well, get hit off pretty easily. Now they're back in the middle. That's all doubles is really. Um, and it's a lot of stuff, but controlling the center of the stage is a really big part of it. Um, people shield more in doubles, so you know you're gonna want to even go for grabs a lot, a lot easier than he would in singles, you know, if Fox is afraid of getting hit shielding, he's not going to react and shine as fast as he could and get out of his grabs. Nice let's guard though, um, that roll up kills Marth, nice, Josh is going in right now, he's just trying to hit him up and down him and kill him and get him, oh, I missed the let's guard, alright, so let's, let's look at Sago now. Sago's waiting for Peach to come down, try to get that pressure. Uh, he decides to switch his um, focus over to Fox. You know, you can't 2v1 forever sometimes. Sometimes you're 2v1ing, you'll just get wrecked because the other guy, you know. You gotta always be wary of where you're standing, where your opponents are standing. So. Alright, so. Ruben's got him off stage here. Um, 
think he ended up trying to go for like both, sort of. He just missed both. Or maybe he was going for Marth, but he went he went to recover high. Fox probably. And he's probably gonna go to ledge or something. So I think he was going for Marth, trying to hit him back before he get to the ledge. Alright. Fox gets the ledge stolen from him. He goes out there. And rip. Alright, nice. Up to up here. Seal the stock. Alright, so it's even in stocks, but you know, generally you want your stocks to be more spread out than one in three because if someone ends up dying and you steal stocks, then it just becomes worse. Like what just happened. So they didn't really have to do as much work as the opponent, but now the stocks are not fair. You know? Wait, did I just. Yeah, no, I didn't say that. Find the chat here. Go Marth! Go Marth! That's the last message I see, so. I guess the browser closed or something. Anyway, yeah. Sago is a cool Marth. It's cool. Alright, so this is good, because obviously Joss and Sago want to win a game and stay in the best of five. But. Let's see. They got out of the combo, so I'm up tilts and get up attacks, trying to get rid of the pressure. Um, pressuring one character into a corner uh, is really good, right? If you can pressure one character into forcing the teammate to go into like a bad spot, then hey, you know, up and down. All right, so now it's two to one. I don't know, they might go to game five. They had played a lot better ever since they switched characters. The biggest thing is now they have to adapt. See Orange Fox waiting for his partner to go in, waiting for something to happen. Andy, he could just be laser, right? Maybe you hit your partner, blah, blah. But like, might as well get percentage if you're not going to do anything. You know? He wasn't really in a dangerous spot to laser. He could have just laid out some lasers and dealt some damage. I mean, if you think you're only going to hit your partner with lasers, then obviously you shouldn't laser. But if you're going to stand up the side instead of going in, laser them. Provided your character has a laser. Peach, you know, it's a little risky sometimes because you gotta pull him onto the ground. Alright. Peach gets up smashed. I don't. I gotta pay attention here. Excuse me. You think she threw out a laggy move and just got punished for it, but I can't remember. Alright. So, and he's going in with some drill shines. He's trying to keep Fox away from Marth. And. Just trying to go in, but Ruben gets caught underneath the cliff, and now it's 2v1, and Ruben can't get over there. Um, this should be good for. Oh, yeah, he screws up the ledge guard, so. Peach is so slow at getting up there that they can 2v1 Orange Mars. But instead, Andy's just winning a 2v1, so, I mean, on the bright side, you got that going on. I mean, this guy is a monster. Andy the monster. Alright, nice, nice forward smash. He should be dead. Um, or not. Or not, you know. Well, I don't know about Justice Fox, man. Alright. Uh oh, okay, so Andy's gone. Now Ruben's probably dead, and he's out of jumps. Wow, he's trying to go high. That's good. He gets out of there. An air dodge back in the middle, just to make sure. Um, Alright. Anyway. Alright, nice shine. There you go. Seal it out. And, um, let's see what happens, but right now, Andy and Ruben have a lot of control of the stage. And they're up. Well, not anymore. 
Hey, Ruben ended up granting Andy and then ran into some problems, but as long as they can keep doing some damage without taking a lot of percent, Boo's still in this by, by means, and it did exactly that, so we'll see what happens. Commentating, bros. Dude, I remember one time Grant messaged me on Facebook randomly. He was like, dude, your commentary rocks, bro. And I was like... <laughs> I'll be good at melees one days. Alright, Ruben and Andy end up taking the set. So... Should I update the bracket in here? I guess I can. So, how many viewers we got? Let's see. Viewer boys, we got seven, it looks like. Seven viewers? Okay. So, 